Hello, welcome back to our second writing lesson this week. And we started with our pictures of our bird building a nest, laying eggs, and the eggs hatching. So on Monday, you were to complete your keyword outline for the first picture of the building of the nest. Today, we're going to do the second. Now, you should have your picture. And I'm just going to pull it up. You should have your picture of the bird and the eggs in the nest glued in on the number two box. If you haven't done that, make sure your picture's glued in. And we're going to create a keyword outline for this second picture, okay? Now your picture's not in color, um, but you are welcome to color them in after. But you will notice something that I'm going to do for my keyword outline based on because mine is in color. So remember, the first thing we start in the keyword outline is the central fact, exactly what we see. After that, we can start adding some details, but we're gonna put down exactly what we see. Well, what do you see in my picture? I see three blue eggs in a nest, okay? And I am going to put that down for my eye. So I'm gonna say three blue eggs, okay, I'm going to say three blue eggs, nest. So that's exactly what we see in the picture, okay? Now let's continue our story. How do these blue eggs get here? How do they get here? Well, I'm going to say that Benny, Betty, she finishes her nest and gets cozy. Okay, so Betty, finish. So she finishes her nest and she gets cozy. Finished her nest and she gets cozy, okay? Now what's going to happen when she's cozy in the nest? What do you think is gonna happen? She's going to lay her eggs, right? Okay, so I'm going to say, laid three eggs, okay? Now, we can say, um, what's going to happen with these eggs? You know, like what, what, what happens with, with these eggs? What's Betty's job to do with these eggs? What do you think? Okay, what do you think? She's gotta sit on them and keep them warm, right? Now, what do you think it would be like to be a bird and having to stay in a nest and sit on some eggs. What do you think that would be like? <laughs> what would you start to feel? Maybe tired, maybe hungry. When is the waiting gonna end? I think I would kind of feel like that. So I'm gonna, I think, add in about how she starts to get hungry, she starts to get tired, okay? And is waiting. But again, remember, you can add the details of how did the eggs get there and what happens with the eggs while they're in the nest. Um, maybe something that happened right before the, the eggs are in the nest or something right after the eggs get in the nest. You can add the details of why it's happening, um, who and what um, is taking place in that, okay? And then my clincher is um, I'm going to do the three blue eggs and nest. I'm gonna say eggs, warm, nest. So the eggs are staying warm in the nest, okay? But again, like I said, you get to add the details and you think of your three keywords or add a symbol or a picture as you need to, to kind of explain when it's happening, what's happening, where is it happening, um, all to go with our second picture of our bird and our three blue eggs in the nest, okay? 
And we will see you again tomorrow where we're going to finish our last pictures keyword outline. Okay? So we will see you tomorrow.